I'm going to clear that up because we went over last week about digital currency. And, you know, Esau has plan A, B, and C. They might throw a microchip out there, but that's not the mark of the beast. Sin is. The fuck is he talking about? Um, April 7th, we, uh, we wrapped everything up as far as our captivity. If you can believe that, um, that was our last day of captivity. <coughs> what the fuck? <coughs> <laughs> oh shit you are someone who namely is a, against the Israelite school UPK I have news for you you have the mark of the beast the fuck is he talking about now I'm asking you another question it's an easy question if the mark of God the seal of God is the law what is the mark of the beast uh, sin. Oh, very good. Thank you. I thought you were going to say something else. I thought he was going to come out with a microchip. I said, if this guy yeah. comes out with a damn microchip. <laughs> ah! And he called the multitude and said unto them, Hear and understand, not that which goeth into the mouth defileth a man, but that which cometh out of the mouth, this defileth a man. Then came his disciples and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Pharisees were offended after they heard this saying? But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father hath not planted shall be rooted up. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. Shalom. I'm going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kadash. Hey, double honors to the apostles and the others, a great millstone. Peace and salutation for the whole elect Akim that's pushing this word. Peace to the elect out there. So, the audio visual I put up on a King James version was about the blind. Let the let the blind leave the blind. They both shall fall in a ditch, and that's what's going on. That's why I put these guys on there because they are false leaders, false prophets. That's speaking with their own heart, not according to the scriptures. They dance their way around the scriptures. You know, they, they, they teach the scriptures, but they dance around the major ones and they lie. Okay? And we know, look, man, <laughs> it's easy to spot a fox, man. And what you have to understand, a lot of these guys are just here to deceive. You know, they were planted here by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. To deceive to fulfill the two thirds prophecy. Okay, that's what they there for. Is this is this is the realm of battle between good and evil. Okay, Th that's why you see the 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 drama. It's not drama to us. Is it maybe it be a drama to them? But according to the scriptures, if you know your history, this has been going out. This been this been going on for a very long time. Okay, so let's get it. This is Jeremiah fourteen verse fourteen. Then the Lord said unto me. The prophets prophesy lies in my name. Yes, they call it in the names of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, except for Nate. And he, but he mentions the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So he's included in this category. All right. The prophets prophesy, prophesy lies in my name, and I sent them not. Neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you a fake, a false vision. And divination, and the thing of naught, and the deceit of their heart. Yeah, they going by their emotions, and they being played, or they they reading a script from Esau Edom. But this is all ultimately commanded. This is all ultimately from Yahweh Bashem Okay, they're gonna be false prophets in the midst of this truth, man. This is gonna happen. See, so when I read in Jeremiah, when I read in Jeremiah. 14 it shows to tell you was there any coming together then no so why should be any coming together now okay this is what they're supposed to be doing okay let me tell you all right this is what we're doing to this in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai 
we're going to get Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter. Okay? And this is what they're not clearly doing. Okay? I'm a firm believer. This is just me. My opinion. I, I, I'm sure brothers and sisters can agree. If you're speaking half truth, you're a liar. Okay? I, I ain't going to give you no kudos. I ain't going to big you up. If you're speaking half truth, you're a liar. You have to speak 100% truth according to the scriptures. All right? So Ezekiel 30, 33, we'll start at the top. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, When I bring a sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set and set him for their watchmen, believe you, believe it or not, we're here to be watchmen upon our people. That's our duty. That's our our due diligence is to, is to be out here and bring you this truth. Okay, we're watchmen. That's the that's the that's the responsibility that Yahweh Bashmisha bestowed upon to us. Okay, now let's read. If and if when he see the sword come upon the land and he blow the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever hear of the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. So we're blowing the trumpet, but prophecy, warning our people, Jacob's trouble, the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. We're, we're blowing that trumpet. So if they don't take heed to it, then that's on their ass, man. Okay? Our, wash, our, our hands be clean, all right? Because we're consistently blowing the trumpet of truth to our people. Now, let's read. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. So, so the ones that are going to be delivering their soul is part, of, is part of that elect, is the elect. Okay? They're going to hear because the scripture said, oh, my sheep hear of my voice. Okay? So if you are here to warn and you take heed to it, hey, you, you, hey, you part of that elect, man, most likely could be. Okay? That's why we call ourselves the hopeful elect. All right? So let's read. But if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, which these guys are clearly doing. See, you got one asshole out here thinking that the captivity is over. <laughs> you got another a-hole thinking that the mark of the beast is sin. You got another asshole thinking that if you don't follow the UPK, you have the mark of the beast. Show me a scripture on that, please. <laughs> Doesn't matter how you slice it. The mark of the beast is physical. Okay? All right? So let's read. But if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but the blood will require at the watchman's hand. So we want to wash our hands off of this bullshit, man. So we out here speaking speaking to you and teaching 100% truth according to the scriptures. Okay? We're not here to play games with nobody. We're not here to hold your hand. Okay? We're not here to impress anybody. We're not here to trim our ways for nobody. We cannot be bought or, or be or be played with here, man. According to the uh, spirit of Yahweh Bashem, I was shy. You know, okay. So let me tell you these guys' roles here. All right, and I, I love reading the scripture because this describes these guys. Okay, this is Micah the third chapter. I will. This could be the last scripture. Okay, Micah the third chapter. Start at the top, and I said, "Here I pray unto, unto the heads of Jacob, the leaders." Right. And you princes of the house of Israel, it is not for you to know judgment. They should know the judgment when you um follow men, men that's false prophets. You know that you, you already know what's gonna happen. You know what happens when you break the laws, statute of commandments. Okay? You know what happens when you don't take heed to warning. You know the, the judgment's gonna happen, it's gonna be death. Alright? Verse two, who hate the good and love the evil. Who's doing that? Them. The guys that I showed you earlier, all right, they hate the good and love the evil. Why do I say that? Because they lie. Plain and simple. They lie according to the scriptures. Now let's read. Who pluck off their skin from them and their flesh from off their bones. So where, where does that pertain to? That's a question for everybody who's listening. 
you go to Ezekiel 37 chapter, how he put the bones and the skin and the breath, which is the truth in them. Well, guess what? These guys are here to take the breath from you, to pluck out your skin, flay it, break your bones, to put you back, put you back in that dead state. To keep following them, wasting your money, bullshit, back in the world. That's their goal. Okay? So let's read. Who hate the good and love the evil. Alright? Who pluck off their skin from them and their flesh off their bones. Who, who also eat the flesh of my people and flay their skin from off them. And they break their bones and chop them in pieces. That chop them in pieces is what? Breaking them into confusion, putting their minds in confusion by, by distor distort distorting the truth, man. Not teaching a hundred percent truth. They got lies mingled in the truth, which is BS. What's an example? You cannot apply the world into this truth. You can't. It doesn't mix. It's like oil and water. Okay. A lot of people bring that old men with them into this truth, and they don't last. Okay. So let's read. Um, and chop them in pieces as for the pot as for the flesh within the cauldron. Then shall they cry unto the Lord, but he will not hear them. He will even hide his face from them at that time. What's that time? Jacob's trouble or the time of their troubles. The Lord is going to hide his face from them when they in need and they're in trouble. Okay? They gonna, what they, where are they going to fall at? Two-thirds prophecy, man. They're going to fall in what? Revelation, the 21st chapter. Liars. All liars will be put in that furnace of fire, which is the nuclear missiles that's going to hit Babylon the Great. So I just don't want to do a quick video on that, man. I hope your brothers and sisters were edified. If any questions, hit the comment board. You scoffers, you can fuck off too, man. All right? You can put a question there if you want to. So to then, I hope your brothers and sisters were edified. Another video, Shalom.